Drone operations like Maxwell's may still be popular, but when it comes to fruits grown in Maine, blueberry is still king. According to the University of Maine Cooperative Extension, last year growers in the state produced nearly 88 million pounds of blueberries. They got about $46 million for their efforts. But the number of acres being harvested and the price farmers are getting for their crops, that has certainly fluctuated wildly over the past decade. Now add one more factor to the equation, Maine's changing climate. That's what researchers at UMaine and Wyman's Blueberries are studying. Here's New Center Maine's Katie Delaney. Mother Nature is uh, is number one, really, when it comes to growing blueberries. Simeon Allen and his family have been harvesting wild blueberries in Maine for five generations. Now he's the co-owner and general manager of W.R. Allen. He says his blueberry crops are looking good this year, but certain weather conditions can cause them to fail. In 2022, uh, when it was very dry, uh, the blueberries just shriveled up and were falling off the plant. The plants were, uh, were, mal were malnourished. They're just not harvestable. Wild blueberry plants take two years to produce fruit, so they're extra vulnerable to environmental variability. If you lose half, if not more, which we did in 2022, uh, it's devastating because the money's been spent and there's no money coming in. As the climate continues to change, the University of Maine and Wyman's are teaming up to research how it affects wild blueberries and figure out ways that growers like Allen can adapt to more extreme weather patterns. We want to help wild blueberry growers stay in business. Assistant Professor of Sustainable Agriculture Dr. Rachel Shatman is running a long-term blueberry experiment at the Wyman's Wild Blueberry Research and Innovation Center at UMaine. Chapman and UMaine students are simulating different weather conditions to see how blueberry plants react to droughts and flooding. They're testing how blueberries grow in current climate conditions and in the climate conditions expected by the end of the century with higher temperatures and more rain. And we're excited to see what happens to the plants, both in terms of how quickly they reach different developmental stages, what their yield is. The project has been in development for two years, but this is the first time there's an experiment up and running at UMaine. They have the capacity for innovation. Wyman's is combining its resources with UMaine to proactively protect its and other growers' wild blueberry crops to sustain the industry for years to come. We're able to provide an awesome education experience for students, um, exposure to our industry, to students, and hopefully develop the next generation of sustainable agriculture leaders. One of those students, Ali Bello, is working on his PhD in ecology and environmental science and moved to Maine from Nigeria to pursue wild blueberry research. Honestly, this is like a life-changing opportunity for me. He was inspired by his family to make a difference with his work, not just in Maine, but hopefully worldwide. Agricultural production in Nigeria or like in African countries generally like is like affected by change in climate conditions. So my dad was thinking that I could be part of the solutions. Looking at those solutions, one tool they're already working on is a map that will show where wild blueberries can grow best in the state in the coming years. That I think will be very useful for growers. Sometimes people lose hope. And so this is as much about providing that inspiration for hope as it is for uh, identifying the tools and techniques that growers can be successful to navigate their challenges on farm. As for Alan, he's hopeful that with some help, his family business will be able to succeed for generations to come. We keep striving on and we're going to keep hopefully continuing on and, and trying to, you know, combat these issues. All to keep one of Maine's most well-known crops thriving. Katie Delaney, New Center, Maine. And after a four year research cycle, UMaine and Wyman's will then evaluate that data to determine how they can best help blueberry crops adapt to climate change.